It is soaked in the soy sauce. It's still moving around. Today we are in Seoul, South Korea, trying out some of the most daring. Yeah, I gotta make sure to chew. It, it doesn't choke you. Right. <laughs> but also delicious. Mm. So yummy. Traditional food you can find on this peninsula. I'm here with Sam, and Sam actually does drinking tours for Airbnb experiences. And so who better to take me on this trip today showing me all this drinking food? Hi. Hey. Korea's drinking culture extends itself to the dinner table, where whether you're drinking soju, makgeolli, or dongdongju, there's always a tasty treat to go with it. Any soup is having a cure in Korea, okay. and any food is drinking food in Korea. <laughs> but you don't need booze to enjoy this food, just an empty stomach and sometimes a little bravery. Oh. <laughs> Are you getting that? Yeah. First up, seafood. In fact, Seafood like you have never seen before, including something called a sea penis. Is it called a sea penis? A penis, penis fish. fish. Yeah. There's a penis fish in there. I have no idea how they came up with that name. Our first spot today is a seafood place, and it's like a giant aquarium. We're gonna look through the aquarium and find the most interesting things and throw them on a plate for you guys to watch. The gentleman who owns this restaurant is gonna come out here, he's gonna grab some of the creatures out of there, and he's gonna make it for us to eat. What is this? So uh, you just grab it with your hand, put it over here. Oh, I grab it? Yeah, you grab it. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, 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 yo. Guys, there it is. It's squirting. <laughs> Yeah, be careful. <laughs> I don't know if that's a defense mechanism. I don't know if he's just being rude. Next. Is this a sea cucumber? Oh yeah, that is, yes. All right, buddy, you're about to have a friend. Oh, it, it suctions onto the glass. This thing is like gooey. It's not very reactive. It doesn't look tasty, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so already we got uh, these two guys are making good friends in there. You mentioned the octopus. I'm gonna get this really active one right here. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. All right. <laughs> Check it out. That is the seafood that we're eating for today. Some of it is trying to get away. All of it is alive. Let's go eat. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen with Mr. Pak Kum Young. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, sorry, my hand's a little slimy. But thank you so much for having us today and allowing me to catch these wild sea creatures. So first, he's gonna take apart the... Oh, it's like a murder scene. All that's left is like the outside of the creature there. They're gonna cut it into these little strips and it's just like, there's nothing left. Next up, we've got my dude, the sea cucumber. I've never seen this preparation, but he just cuts it in half. All this stuff is oozing out from the inside. Oh, uh, that's the uh, guts. Uh, do we eat that? Yeah, it's supposed to be very good for you. Great! And then he's gonna cut up the rest into tiny little strips. Last up, this guy, he chops it, and the legs and everything, it's still, they're moving, they're writhing. And then we are gonna bring that to the table, wow. The dinner table is filled with panchan, or little side dishes. And then our all-stars, the sea cucumber, penis fish, and the still wriggling octopus. These tentacles can remain active for around five to 10 minutes and even have the ability to suction. So be sure to chew thoroughly. Here we go. And again, it is still moving. Those suckers are active and they will linch on to the inside of your mouth. We're gonna dip it in some soy sauce. Right. And wasabi too. Right. It is soaked in the soy sauce. It's still moving around. That tastes delicious. It's the most weird delicious food I've ever had. You actually like it? I actually like it. It's so very chewy. It's got a lot of taurine, so it's a good stimulant. So I could have this instead of coffee in the morning. Exactly. Is this one an aphrodisiac? All these three are aphrodisiacs in Korea. Okay, I'm a little worried. We're two dudes hanging out all day eating these aphrodisiacs. Uh, I should drink. All right, let's have a drink. Are these eyeballs? What is this part? I mean, that's an eyeball, definitely. This is an eyeball. Oh, yeah. that, it would be impolite to not eat it, right? Right. Uh, what am I doing? Mm. Oh. Actually, this one's better. It explodes in your mouth. We are moving over here to the penis fish. Ugh. You can't judge, this is someone else's culture. Oh wait, this is your culture. Yeah, my exact. All right, a little bit of soy sauce, and let's go for it. A little fishy. I just have some of that sea sweetness, and then very rubbery, like more than the octopus. Its Korean name is kebul, which literally means dog's testicle. I, yeah, okay. Next, this is a sea cucumber. There it is, the guts of the sea cucumber. It is like cartilage. We ate them in order of toughness. It's like impossible to chew through. Mm. Oh, I did it. Not a ton of flavor, it's just, it tastes like briny, like the ocean. I like it. I mean, I like this out of 
all these three. My favorite by far is the Sanakji, the octopus here. Kai, do you want some of the sea cucumber? Really? There's some penis fish. Do you want some penis? Oh, he said he already had breakfast. All right, I can see if you're pounding back about a thousand soju shots, any of these would be fine to me. Because I mean, soju, it's the worst alcohol in the world. But it's the best seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Those little sea dwellers were the perfect appetizer. But now, we're headed to Pa Jun Alley. Located near a university, Pajan Alley got its start selling huge sized shallot pancakes for cheap to college kids. We're on Pajan Street. A lot of restaurants serving really, really affordable, nice Pajan. Like huge seafood pancakes, basically. Right. Let's go inside and check it out. Our Hamul John starts with batter, cabbage, spring onion, and a load of sliced squid, then tossed on a blazing hot cast iron skillet. We are in the kitchen right now. We're gonna make some Hamul Pajan. Well, actually, uh, our host right here is Anyoseo. Right into the pan. Right. And it's gonna be like the size of that pan, huh? Okay, watch this, watch this. Bam, she's got moves. So it looks like it's finished and she's gonna put it on here. Here, can I help you? So they serve it right on the pan. Could you tell me what's on there? It's a dipping sauce. Vinegar, salt, sugar, soy sauce, and chilies and some onion pieces. Our meal we served up with some local dong dong ju made from rice liquor. Also, dong dong ju is fun to say. For 18 bucks, we could get this bude jjigae, this heimuljan, gedanjim, which is like a steamed egg, and then over here, doto limuk. What's that? Oh. Uh. Uh, basically, Totori Mook is acorn jelly. Let's, should we try that first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a little smoky from the sesame oil in there. A little hint of cucumber, not too much. And then maybe even some gochujang. Oh yeah, it's got some uh, chili paste and chili powder, yeah. Usually it's old people thing. It's an old people thing. Speaking of cool stuff to do with no teeth, we have the dong dong ju here. I'll come first. It's got a little sweetness to it, some of that ricey, yeasty fermentedness in there still. The bude jjigae is over here. Bude jjigae literally means army-based stew and came about during the Korean War, when in addition to local ingredients like noodles and kimchi, they had also tossed in ingredients from military rations like ham or spam. It's so robust and tasty that it's still around today. It's like a mix of everything. A Little bit of noodle, a little bit of sausage. Mm. Mm. It's like salty junk food. Oh yeah. It really is. <laughs> it really just tastes like a kimchi stew, that broth. And then here, this is a gedan chin, and they put it in this Korean stone pot, and then you will never believe how they cook it. They put it in a microwave. So for thousands of years, <laughs> they've been cooking this by putting it in a microwave. You want to try some uh, of that with me? Yeah, sure. Mm. A little salty, a little ah. scallion, and that's all you need. Next, I mean, the beauty that is right here. Basically, there's no wrong way to eat this. You kind of just break it apart, right? Yeah. We throw it in the sauce. Mmm, mm. so yummy. It's crispy and doughy at the same time. It reminds me of the Vietnamese bun sale. It's super greasy, but especially with the sauce, it doesn't feel that heavy. Oh no. <laughs> it oh no. Uh, no. I'm loving it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, the embarrassment, this is my show. <laughs> Our last stop today, yes, it looks like it could be a prop in a zombie pig movie. It's called Jokeball, and the taste is rather surprising. We have reached our third and final location. The main thing that we're here for is boiled pig feet, Jokeball. One of the most popular uh, TV show in Korea. They showcase this place, and this place just got exploded by customers. It's a heartwarming story, because the guy's like, I've got enough customers, I do not need more customers. We are in the kitchen right now where we have the pork hock. And look at this big bad boy. Like a lot of places do, they only use the front feet because I think it's considered more clean. Do you know, was this pig um, left handed or right handed? Orange. Orange. Oh, okay, so it was a right handed pig. After the pig's foot boils for about three hours in seasonings, it's diced up and served with some sides. Look at these huge cuts of fatty pork. She's going to take it right off the bone. And that is the straight up hoof right there. That is the foot. That's the like fingertip. Uh, he's saying that's, oh, that's the best part of it. That's the most tasty. Wow, that's a lot of meat. We have our meat here. Thank you so much. Kamsamnida. We're gonna head to the table and eat.
Our huge joke ball platter comes with spicy red chili sauce, bean sprout soup, samjang sauce, green chilies and garlic, spicy radish, and some different plants for wrapping. When you eat it, you eat it similar to just normal Korean barbecue? I mean, I like to do it just meat. Otherwise, some people put it in a little wrap. Right, wrap. Some maybe some garlic, some condiment. pepper. Correct. To go with our food, we have makgeolli. Kumbe. Kumbe. I'm drunk. I want to try just the straight up pure flavor. Mmm. That's really good. That's some of the best things you'd have ever had. This is a masterpiece. A lot of people might mix it with this, put it in some sangchu, some lettuce. Right. Then we'll put in some of this kimchi. It's kind of a reddish kimchi, right? Actually, uh, I don't need kimchi, so I don't. You don't know. need kimchi? <laughs> and then some samjang sauce. That's so wonderful. Adding more to the meat, but just the meat alone is so good too. Also, he's bringing gloves now. Yeah. She said the fingertips was the most delicious. Isn't that eat, like eating a fingernail that's been boiled for three hours? Yes, exactly. All right, cheers. Oh, it's boring. Oh, oh it tastes good. This keeps blowing my mind. Because it's a foot, I keep telling myself it shouldn't be yummy. It's indeed very yummy. Well, we're gonna get drunk and eat the rest of this foot. Thank you so much Thank for you. showing me around today. I had an awesome time trying all this new food. For you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of this cool Korean late night drinking food. Also for you guys, this video was brought to you by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. Uh, I'm supposed to be like... I don't know, is there, what's the Korean way? Oh, you, you don't eat kimchi, you don't know.